the two flavours have just become one. Hello and welcome to another edition of Global Eats. I am Dan and I'm here in Hong Kong. I'm staying in the Airbnb that I rented for a very reasonable price and I have just come home from a long day of eating lots of Indian food. I have bought myself from the local 7-Eleven which also exists here in Hong Kong just like every other country I've been to so far. I bought myself some banana pancake vita soy. Check that bad boy out. That's right. This is a drink which I assume is flavoured to taste like banana pancakes which is a strange combination of banana and pancakes. It's made by a company called Vitasoy International Hold Holdings Limited and it has the protein content equivalent to one egg. And I've only had three eggs today, so I think it's only right that I should have one more. So, let's have a little look at this Vitasoy. Let's see how it tastes. First I'll take off this very handy little straw that's been attached to the carton. Bendy. Classic. Oh, I can also reveal that this white soy has zero cholesterol and no trans fat, as well as being lactose free and full of healthy grains. Fill hunger most conveniently. Right then, let me fill my hunger most conveniently. Slightly inconvenient straw hole there, but can't have everything, can you? Okay then, Vita Soy. We should have shaken this before. You know what soy milk is like. This does taste like banana, but I don't quite taste the pancake. I rarely ever have bananas and pancake separately, so I suppose the two flavours have just become one. You may be wondering why I'm not translating any of the Chinese on this packet. Well, that's because in Hong Kong everything is written both in Chinese and English, therefore I don't have to. So it's really smooth, almost too smooth. Banana isn't the smoothest of fruits. It's got lots of weird bits of fibre in it and little seeds occasionally. And soy milk is usually a bit weird. There's, there's a strange texture to it sometimes. As well as that, it does say that it has healthy grains in it and I really can't feel the grains. It's, it's just almost as if they've been shredded into nothingness or filtered out completely. It does say it has oat flour in it and barley flour, which I suppose are the closest thing to grains that I'm going to get in this thing, but they've just been somehow smoothed out. It doesn't taste quite natural. Mm. It tastes okay though, it's just a bit strange. It does have this very cute barcode on it as well, if you look at that there. It's got the uh, stack of pancakes and some bananas there, just to add a bit of personality to the packaging. Mm. I could see how somebody with a lactose intolerance or perhaps a vegan would really like this. I think I still prefer regular banana milk a little bit, but this is thicker than usual banana milk. I suppose maybe that's the pancake. Maybe that's why it's thick. It's meant to be like batter. Mm. As we all know, this is the customary way of finishing a carton of anything, is to suck on it <clears throat> until it collapses in on itself. So there you have it. This is banana pancake flavoured Vita Soy soy milk with the protein equivalent to one egg. Healthy, I guess. Thanks very much Fighter Soy and thank you Hong Kong. And as always, thank you for watching. See you next time on Global Eats.